What's going on boys and girls? Today we have another product review. I don't really plan on reviewing a lot of things, but uh, recently I've had a couple companies reach out to me with some stuff that they would like for me to review, and this is one of them. So it's a two cylinder air compressor. I can't remember what brand it is. Let me, okay, I don't remember if there's a, oh, I do. A-U-D-E-W dual cylinder air compressor. Made in China. It's got cast alloy air pump casing with cooling fins for quick heating displacement. Um, this displacement, I guess that's what it says. Um, um, I was reading the box earlier and one of the things I noticed was that there was a typo. All the features you want in C, high quality portable air compressor. And it also does come with a bag, which I'm pretty excited about that. This is gonna be an interesting review. I'm not 100% sure how I'm gonna make this work because all three of my cars are down right now. Oh, also, if you guys only know about two of them, the Z and the G35. I also picked up a 1999 Eclipse recently. I'll walk by later and show it to you. All three of my cars are down right now. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to do this so let's just dive right into it start opening it i was reading some reviews online and one of the things that people really liked was having a hose it's not a plastic hose it's actually a rubber hose so it doesn't break very easily usually whenever you get plastic hoses they'll crack or split like if you step on them on accident and we got the portable bag for it we'll look at that in a second and then it's got some terminals so you can actually hook it up to a battery and it'll also go into a 12 volt socket or 12 volt source that you have inside usually like a cigarette lighter hang on is this like an extension? Let me see this. Oh, it is, sweet. This could work for airing up basketballs, airing up, you know, tires on your car. It's got little nipples right here to make it fit inside. Oh, okay, this can be pretty handy, I'm not gonna lie. This is going to be like the most straightforward review. It's more of just like, hey, check out what I got. This is pretty helpful to use. I also read online that the uh, the pressure gauge is supposed to be pretty accurate too. So far, first impressions are pretty good. It comes with a good bit of stuff to make it pretty handy. The quality is pretty good. There's plastic pieces all around the outside right here, which feel a little, they feel a little flimsy, a little bit cheap, but the rest of it, the tank is metal. This is plastic. I thought that was supposed to be metal. Hang on let's look at the box it said it had cooling fins but fins don't do anything if they're plastic cast alloy air pump casing with cooling fins for quick heat displacement oh dissipation not displacement god i'm dyslexic i'm so sorry i also noticed that the compressor in the box is not the same compressor that's on the cover of the box so you see right here it's got a chrome it's all chrome and the handle's different here the cylinder is red and it's got a handle here the rest is the same though wait the one in the box also has a fuse on the wires and it goes directly to hook to a battery. This one goes to a 12 volt with no fuse and then has an adapter to go to a battery. I wonder if the bag is the same now. I wanna look. Nope, the bag is not the same. The bag in the picture has uh, two straps on it. This one is just a, not even, it's not even a Ziploc, it's got a zipper on it. Well, uh, interesting. I mean, it, it still looks like a solid pump. Presentation's good if you're not gonna pay attention to these things that I just pointed out. Like it still looks like it would work great. It's actually, it's it's got some weight to it, which is a lot better than uh, some of the ones you get at O'Reilly's for dirt cheap. I wonder if it does fit in the bag. All right, all right, all right, we're getting somewhere. This is good. Let's see if we can get everything in here. Oh, it's close. I don't know if we'll get everything. Oh, come on. Okay. Well, there we go. At least you can fit it all in the bag. I mean, it's it's a tight fit, but you can you can get it all in there. There's two things that I know for sure will change my mind on whether or not I would purchase this myself. That is how loud it is. Usually compressors are pretty noisy. I have like the cheapest one available that you can get from any sort of parts store. It's a little, a little bitty square like this, and it takes forever to air up tires. The second thing that will be an influence is how fast it'll air up tires. Now, usually if you want to say, money you get a smaller compressor and it's going to take forever to air up your tires and then you also are going to have to deal with the noise that the little bitty ones make i think they're irritating i can't stand listening to them i hate airing up my tires with it this seems a little bit beefier it should even if it is the same volume if it airs up a tire quicker i'll be happy so this is the compressor that was sent to me this is the compressor that i was talking about this is the one that i already had this is the one that airs up a tire extremely slow and it's also extremely noisy and i hate listening to it it's like listening to a puppy scream all night it's like fucking irritating but this i haven't heard it yet we're gonna go ahead and compare these two compressors side by side to see which one can air up a tire from i'd say probably like 15 psi to 30 psi we'll go ahead and do that now of course what's going to go into that calculation is going to be me airing up this one watching the gauge going to 32 and then checking it with another tire pressure gauge to make sure that it's the same pressure and then this one i'm gonna have to measure it myself but now me measuring it and airing it up 
is going to be included in time. We will be comparing what you're gonna buy versus what you're gonna buy. You're gonna buy this compressor, which has a gauge already on it, or you're gonna get this one and either eyeball how your tire looks, or you're gonna get another gauge outside of this to measure the pressure. So first, I think we should do this one. I wanna get I wanna get to this quick, so that way I can just get it over with. All right, so we'll go ahead and show. It's at 15 PSI. We're gonna air it up to 30. I already know this one's gonna take a while. at six minutes and 16 seconds now let's go ahead and get the other one now that was not from a flat tire that was from 15 psi up to 30 psi took over five minutes okay so we got that and then this you can actually screw onto the valve stem let's see what psi this red 25 so it goes in five zero five ten fifteen twenty twenty five yep it's right at 15 psi so they read the same we'll go ahead and hook this one up to the battery and we'll see how fast this one gets up to 30. all right let's see how loud is this one going to be oh Okay, it didn't turn on. There we go. There we go. Now it's on. That's nowhere as bad. That is not near. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, shoot. I forgot I don't have a timer started. But off the bat, this one's already way quieter. That was, that's very good to know. I'm so glad this one's quieter. I'll let this one get back down to 15. It bumped up like two pounds already. There we go. It's back to where it was. And start. Oh, wait, wait. All right, ready? Start. So we're at two minutes so far, 30 pounds. Well, there you go. That answers that. This one aired up from 15 to 30 PSI in two minutes, whereas the other one did it in six and a half minutes. That alone, I mean, if you if you go to a track or if you autocross or a drag strip or anything and you need a way to air up your tires a little bit quicker, spending the little bit of extra money on this, that alone, it's not as noisy, um, it airs up faster it has a gauge on it i mean i know for sure that i'll be carrying this one with me everywhere i go now instead of that one plus it's a lot faster it's quieter it's a lot more comfortable to use you can hook up hook it up to your battery instead let's see how do you turn the flashlight on i never figured that out let me let me look it sounds pretty interesting Ooh, that hose is warm the rest of it's like nice and cool none of it got hot i don't know how to turn the uh the flashlight on though i'm probably gonna have to read the instructions you don't twist it I figured it'd be like you press it. That doesn't seem like it's true. Yeah, let me let me get the instructions real quick. So this is the only piece of paper that came in the entire thing. And this has all the instructions on how to use it, but I don't see anywhere how to use a light or it even saying that the LED light is featured. Also, I was looking at the box some more. Let's go ahead and just point out how many things are different about the compressor that came in the box versus what's on the box. The handle's different, so that's one. The hose is different. This is one so that way you could hook up air tools to it. That's two. It does come with a hose though, so I, I do appreciate that. The bag that comes with it is different, so that's three. The pressure gauge is mounted onto the end of the hose instead of on the compressor itself. Four things that are different. This doesn't show anything about hooking up to a battery. That one comes with a battery adapter. I'll just call it a battery adapter. That's that's different. But then on this side, this, we have the same compressor that's on that this side versus this side. This has uh, like battery connectors immediately, and that's your only option. Versus this side, it shows just the 12 volt. That's five things instantly. Oh, six. Duh. The chrome compressor in here. That's uh in when in the box it's red. And then also on the side here, I don't think those are black, are they? So it's like five or six things that are different. I mean, of course, it's still a good product. Um, except for the fact that I have no idea how to turn this light on. There's no instructions on how to turn the light on. So I'm kind of just trying to figure it out. I mean, I can I can continue pressing on it, but I'm scared I'll break it. Oh. Oh, okay, there's two switches. There's a switch on this side for the light, and there's a switch on this side for the compressor. Okay, that makes sense. Well guys, that is all I have for you today. Uh, this is an air compressor, so unfortunately I can't do too much with it, except for air up a tire and talk about it a little bit. So overall, as a product itself, I give it like, I don't know, I don't I don't really have much experience with compressors. I've used a lot of big ones like in shops, and then I've used small portable ones. This is definitely one of the better portable ones I've used. I like it. I'm definitely going to be using it. You'll probably see it in more videos in the future. So if you like this product and you're seeing this video, go in the description below i can get you this for a discount click the link or use the code below i'm not sure which one it is yet and then also for anybody else in the future that sees this and you have something that you would like for me to review i am officially calling this daniel's brutally honest reviews from now on so i tell people straight up that whenever they send me something and they want a review done for it i'm gonna be honest i'm not gonna sugarcoat it like it is what it is for example i'm pointing out the fact 
that you're selling a product that is completely different than what is coming in the box. I mean, they're, they're the same thing, like theoretically, but they just different presentation, different colors, minor details, nothing that's going to like make or break a sale, but it's just things that I would notice if I'm buying something. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more coming soon. And I will see you guys in the next video. I've been getting way too comfy around you lazy couch potatoes, talking circles around my questions. Cause you don't know how to say no bunch of lamos, bunch of lemons, boy, you don't know how to work. Got your feet up on your desk. I got my boots all in the dirt. Laces tied, crazy eyes, 48 hours I've been awake. Do not try to intervene unless you trying to.